Hi, I um, told you that I would make a video for uh, the linear combination of random variables just in case what I had sent you as solutions you needed a little bit more information or a little bit more talking through it. So here's one of the problems. This is the last one on that set. Um, a bridge holds up to 25 cars. It is known the weight of the cars are individually uh, normally distributed with a mean of 2100 and a standard deviation of 500. So, um, let me tell, so what do we have right here? Um, so I'm going to combine the total weight of 25 cars where each of them individually is normally distributed. So I don't even have to worry about how many I sum. I know if I sum normals, I get normal. So I don't have to worry about the central limit theorem. Um, the mean of each car, the mean weight, and the standard deviation of the weights. So one way I could do this, I want to see if the total weight of all the cars, um, it, it, if they exceed 65,000 pounds, and that would be a bad thing. But let's find the probability of that occurring. So I'm going to let um, T equal total weight of all 25 cars. So T is a random variable, which is just the sum of um, all these X's. 25 of them. Um, I know since each of the x's individually are normal, then t must be normal. That's its shape. And I want to find the um, mean and the standard deviation. And then I can either use you know, a z table or some other method for determining the probability. So first of all, um, when you sum random variables, you're allowed to add their means. So mean of t is equal to the mean of the sum above, which, um, let me write that in really quick. Um, the mean of a linear combination is just the sum of the means. So this is actually, sorry about my small x's sometimes, just typos. Um, and then I can add up all down to the mean of, um, 25 of them. So the mean of one of them, uh, 2100 plus 2100 plus 2100. So whatever um, mean of t is uh, 2100 times 25, whatever that is. I left, I opened this too. So 2100 times 25 is 52500. So Five two five zero oh, oh. zero. That's the mean of twenty five individual cars added up. The mean weight five two five zero zero. Okay, I have that part. And now sigma. I'm not allowed to add standard deviations, but I'm allowed to add variances as long as my random variables are independent. So actually, I'm just doing exactly what I did up here. Oh no. Um, except these are variances. So variance of t is equal to the variance of the sum, which is equal to the sum of the variances, as long as I have independence of the random variables. Okay, so let me see. Let's get rid of that. So variance here is um, 500 squared plus 500 squared plus 500 squared. So um, my variance then is um, how many? That 25 times 500 squared. So um, the standard deviation is just the square root of that. 25 times 500 squared, which is just um, 5 times 500 which is 2,500. So right here just goes um, 2,500. Okay, so now I know the total weight, its distribution, its mean, its standard deviation, and I'm trying to figure out the probability that T is greater than 65,000. So now I could use, um, I can use z-scores to solve this. I can do it with an integral. I can do it in mini-tab. If I do z-scores, what I'm doing, I'm doing the probability of this is going to become a z when I subtract off mean, divide by standard deviation. So 65,000 
minus 52500. Um, and then I divide this by the standard deviation 2500, and I should get a z score. So let me just quickly copy this over to Maple to give me a number. Hmm. No, I don't need that. Five. Which, um, so this is the probability that T is greater, or sorry, that's a Z. We switch it to Z is greater than five. So on a standard normal chart, or even on, you know, if you look at the graph, you know there's not a lot of area past even four standard deviations. So the probability of being more than five standard deviations is, um, I'm going to put quotes around this, it's, it's approximately zero. I mean, there's not much out there. Um, if I want to be more exact, I can integrate this in Maple. All I need to do, I already put in my um, f of x, so I wouldn't have to type it in for you. I'm going to let f nu be nu is, uh, I'm going to subs, nu is 52500, and sigma was 2500 into f of x. I'm going to integrate f nu from um, negative, in, negative infinity to infinity, just to make sure this guy integrates to 1, or else I have a mistake in my function. And it does. And uh, now I want to know probability of being more than 65,000 pounds. It's probably going to integrate to zero because I don't think I left enough decimal, pl decimal places for it. So, um, oh yeah, earth because um, it's trying to give an exact value. So there we go. Yeah, very, very small, which, which is what I would hope. You know, we hope that if we build a bridge that the probability of 25 cars, you know, destroying it would be very, very small. So, um, and I guess while I'm here, I might as well do the, um, I might as well do mini tab. So let me do that really fast. Mini tab, this is, this is probably the easiest graph. Probability distribution plot, view probability. I have a normal, this was 52500, this standard deviation 2500. I want the shaded area. I have an x value, which is 65,000. I want the area to the right. And it's going to say 0 because it, it's, it's not very exact. So, oh, maybe it did. And there it is. Um, so the probability of being here further out, 0.28666. Wow, it would be nice if they, I can't really see all this. Let me see if I can bring it in to the screen. Oh, there we go. Point. 2.8665 times 10 to the negative 7. So I guess it does. I thought I would just say 0. But um, so there are um, there are three ways to do this. I did this as a sum. I could have done this as a X bar problem. If you want to see the X bar, let me know. Um, I don't know. It's already written as a sum, so it kind of makes sense that way. But X bar is totally OK also. So if you want another video, let me know. Otherwise, um, I'll leave it at this and then just let me know this weekend or later if you want to talk about any of this. Okay, have a, a nice rest of the weekend and I'll see you soon.